here and welcome to the passenger seat of the Mazda MX-5. Chloe is driving us to a car show, the petrol heads meet. We've been there before, you may recognise it. And there's a very special car that we are looking forward to seeing. It's a Batmobile. We're going to look at a Batmobile and I am so looking forward to seeing it. So we're about 15 minutes away I'd say, so I'll see you in a bit. It's meant to be a classic meet, but we're kind of in an MX-5. It's kind of classic. There was a Mini in front of us. Okay, it is a classic. We are on time. There is the Batmobile. Oh my god. I can't yet work out what that used to be. Power. I have right of way now, so... Oh, oh yeah, I can't run you over anymore. Oh yeah, the Damn new... It. Oh, uh. whiplash. I felt the whiplash. So we have parked up the TVR Chimera is parking next to us and there's a GTM Libra pulling in too. Here is Chloe's MX-5 part next to the TVR Chimera and it's actually interesting to see how similar in size the Chimera is to the MX-5. I always thought it might be a bit bigger but actually that is an MX-5 sized car. And further up we've got the pair of beach buggies and I'm going to have to chance the grass to have a look at the Batmobile. So next to the Jaguar XK we have this car, even with the number plate, Batmo, where are these lights from? I recognise them. Um, probably some kind of van? I also don't currently know what car this actually is, or was, because obviously now it is a genuine Batmobile. You can tell by the bat. So, it's an automatic Toyota. Um, so it is a Toyota Avalon, which in itself is a car I don't think I've actually seen before. There's plenty of them in America, but not in this country. I'm not even sure if they sold them. Is that some kind of afterburner on the back, just above the tow bar? Oh, so we've just had it answered. We've turned the lights on. It is a flamethrower. We've got the orange lights replicating flames. I bet that looks immense in the evening. So I think this is amongst the busiest I have seen this meet, and it is still January. This is what classic car owners do. They bring their machines out, whatever the weather, or the Although it helps that there is literally no clouds in the sky. Quite the wild Mustang pulling in with the 993 behind. And amongst the classics, I have spotted a bit of JDM royalty. There is an Evo amongst this lineup. Behind the Carmen gear, the Escorts, and the Scirocco. It is red in colour with a carbon front end and white wheels. And making quite the grand entrance is this diesel army vehicle. I have no idea anything else more about it. But it's it's got six wheels. <laughs> Sounds like it's straight piped. And don't forget to get your tickets for my car show, Adam Seafest, on Bank Holiday Friday, the 3rd of June 2022. Spectator tickets and show car tickets are available. Link in the video's description. So now that we are roadside, we can see the lineup and the chaos that has been caused by the car meet. And here we have Shrek rolling in. We saw this Morris Minor at a recent meet with the kind of lopsided wing mirrors and the crazy rear end. I really like that. You'll notice he's got the green seat belts to match the green exterior colour of his Stang. And we've just been alerted of the arrival of a Ford because um, there's smoke behind it as the Caterham makes its speedy entrance. So the Sierra just decided to do a burnout whilst waiting in traffic. The Audi is getting very annoyed and now he's made a mistake. Oh my god, everyone's getting so impatient. Just wait for a few minutes and everything will be okay. We are driving three abreast here. It's chaotic. Maniacs, absolute maniacs. Also, what is this? It's a Hyundai Coupe with a bit of a body kit on it. And the first departures of the day is the pair of Mayor's Max Beach Buggies. Chloe has found another worm to save. It seems to be a trend at all these classic meets. It's gonna get run over. Oh, look! Now, the next car to leave is this E60 BMW M5. <laughs> Made a friend! Next up is the X Power MG. Quite a rarity at the show. This. It is a Mustang. <laughs> Bit of mud on the tyres. We've got another one of the classic boards making its speedy departure. It's not the best entrance in the world. To... Oh, he, he made it. I suppose there's not much overhang. So we've been dying of the fumes of all the 
the barges, he's letting them all go. There go the Vespers. That sounds quite cool. So it's taking so long to get the cars out that some guy is just holding the barrier up permanently now. So we're going to get a quick flow of cars leaving. The T350, the 997 Turbo. We've got the lifted L200 with the V8 and the snorkel. Love the spare tyre in the bed as well. Was the Escort sneezing or something? All right now, all the cyclists were not listening to instructions. Absolute maniacs. see trying to do a burnout in the background there behind all the legs. It's quite a calm burnout. It's burning up quite nicely. The smoke's starting to emit from the rear tires. There we go. Interesting. Oh, we've got the white R33 departing next up. Was this Sierra who was doing spontaneous burnouts whilst in the traffic or waiting to come in? So we can predict what's about to happen. <laughs> M3 follow suit? That is the next question. <laughs> what about the Bel Air with the fat rear tyres? And the beautiful Barracuda. Oh. I think he bails due to the fact there was a massive lorry coming the other way. Oh, there's a green MX-5. That was strange. Tires are not working very well today. Right, E46 doing a similar thing. We've got the loud R32 GTR being encouraged to go as fast as he can. Lovely. There's a turbocharged Mark II Escort coming. They want to get them out of the car park as soon as possible. <laughs> the e-glass wasn't in 
progress. The guys holding the barrier are getting told off now, but they are getting the traffic cars to find the place. Oh, there's the server. And then we've got this, <laughs> a gasser pulling in. Oh, you never see gases in this country. Right, there goes another server. GTR. MX5. Go, go, catch it! Go, go, catch it! Oh, this mini's gonna send it. Looking forward to hearing the straight pipe diesel. <laughs> oh, it turns. Rear wheel steering. Oh, I see what they've permanently broken the barrier now. It's permanently erect. Oh, I love that. Do you? <laughs> the next arrival is a very low Ferrari 348 Spider. May scrape a little on his entrance. Yeah, he's contemplating the teeth. He's going for it. Aston Martin Vanquish S as well. <laughs> oh, he actually got away with the teeth. He's hit with the goal. You can do it. There we go. Oh, that is actually quite close. Someone's wrapped their Tesla in chrome red. Sounds like we've got some 50 year old escorts coming. Here they go. in his truck, I wonder. So this is an RS2000X, according to its badge. It's got wide arches and sounds pretty decent. Oh, the Audi's going to get in my way. The Audi got in my way. There's now a Sirocco with a wing and the Evo. The ultimate with another favourite, the Chimera passing through. Next up, the Exige 410 Sport. The van is flashing the Quattro as a later mile because everyone loves a Quattro. And a white chase. <laughs> blowing the horn. Okay. Come on, GT40, give us some sounds.
from the petrol heads meet in Egremont, Ronnie Mead. We saw a few more cars, including this gas over here, a lifted Austin drag car, red with the tinted windows too. Fantastic. So I hope you enjoyed that video. Go follow me on Instagram for the updates and highlights about these meets that I go to. But for now, thanks for watching.